Hey everyone, welcome into the channel. It's Karen Lavender Clothesline. In today's video, we're going to do a couple of things. Of course, we're going to go shopping or thrifting together. We are also going to do answering your questions. I receive hundreds of DMs, emails, and comments here on YouTube asking me different questions about how I run the business, what things I do, and just general questions. So I'm going to take a few minutes during this video to answer some of your questions. Now, just know if you're on Instagram, and you're on my Instagram, Lavender Clothesline, I do not answer DMs. I'm barely in DMs because I give out my email, lavenderclothesline at gmail.com here in YouTube. I have a tendency not to be able to answer questions also over on Instagram. So if you want to leave a question for me, a lot of times the best way is to do it through email or right here on YouTube. And if I have missed anybody's question, I apologize. I do receive hundreds of them and I try to connect with you as much as possible. I love meeting all of you in the thrift stores and at flea markets and auction houses. I love hanging out with you guys when I get to meet you in the stores and always feel like you are welcome to come up to me and say hello and have a little chat. I love that. I love you guys and I appreciate you following my channel. All right, let's do a QA. and a Let's see what's going on here at Lavender Clothesline and I'll try to get to as many questions as I can. All right, let's get started. So first we're going to center in on the questions that have to do with reselling, how I started and how long it took me to earn a full-time income. I started selling on eBay about 12 years ago. I'm really going to have to look back at when I started. I believe it was October 2012. Don't quote me on that, but that's when I think was my first full-time, you know, jump in and get started. When I started selling on eBay, I always tell the story. I decided to do it. I made up the name Lavender Clothesline. I just picked it out of the hat. In five minutes, I registered the name. And I think the very next day I went out to the thrift store and bought like a hundred items. I was all in. I'm not a person to decide to do something and kind of lallygag about it. Is that even a term lallygag? So for those of you asking, how long did it take me to earn a full-time income? I feel like within that first year, it probably took a good, I'm trying to remember what I made the first year. I want to say I sold about 40 or 50,000 that first year. I was all in. I was serious. That was when I was partially on Long Island and partially here, I think, in Pennsylvania. So I did make the move halfway. And when I came to Pennsylvania, I was in the thrift stores three or four times a week. So that is the answer to that. Most people don't make a full-time income that quickly. But like I said, when I decide to do something, you know you girl, I'm all in and I'm all crazy about it. Same thing for YouTube. I started YouTube uh, about four years ago. I decided to do it. I pressed hard into it. Within the first month, I received my first AdSense check, which is unheard of. I think that first check was like $250. And I was like, oh, I've arrived. And now um, it's tens of thousands of dollars on YouTube. So very, very grateful for that. Many of you have expressed that you have started reselling because you see my channel. I couldn't be more thrilled with that. I think everybody should try reselling at least once in life, whether it's online, in person at a flea market. Not only is there great capability for wonderful profit to be made, but it gives you that sense of being an entrepreneur. And here in the United States, I think we have so much wealth that is untapped in this type of business because we are a throw out, donate society there is a lot of inventory. Now I have to admit that in Pennsylvania, my thrift stores are especially good. Before I moved to Pennsylvania, I visited this state a lot and I went to thrift stores quite a bit. So I knew what I was dealing with as a thrifting state. Other states might be a little bit harder, their thrift stores, but just know that I go to thrift stores all over the state. I also thrift out of state. Generally, the thrift stores that I'm thrifting in here are within, I'm going to say, a hundred mile radius. So picture my home. I'm right near Lancaster, Pennsylvania, a hundred mile radius, and I try to stay within that circle. Some days I can travel over two hours, two and a half hours to go to a thrift store, but generally most 
thrift stores I'm going to at this point because of filming and that time constraint uh, are within an hour of my home. I am thrifting still probably two to three days a week with filming quite the schedule to keep up. So I have to say it is keeping all the balls in the air. I don't see doing eBay at this level and YouTube consistently for a lot more years. I have been pressing into YouTube a little bit more, so my listings have been a little bit slower to get on. So if you are waiting for something that you see me picking up in a video, just know that anything that I've talked about putting into my eBay store will be there. Sometimes it takes two weeks, so just know that. Bigger items will mostly be on Facebook Marketplace or in our vintage booth down the rabbit hole, Hummelstown, PA, and it is called Old Factory Antiques, Old has an E. So those are the three places I'm still selling. If you're waiting for something and it's a big item, most likely it's gonna be in the antique booth or on Facebook Marketplace. Quite a few of you, because it is tax time, have been asking about taxes. I never give tax advice. The only advice that I will give is, yes, file taxes from day one. So these are my thoughts on it. When you file with the IRS, whether it's in year one of selling or year 10, they now know you're a reseller and most likely they're gonna look back to see if you have earned income on any of the platforms. So say I resell five years and on year six, I say, wow, I'm really getting serious about this. Let me file my taxes. Well, once you file those taxes, the IRS is gonna look back on that platform to see if you've made money on that platform. That is why I have always declared the income on day one from day one in that first year. That very first year of selling on eBay, I went to my accountant, said what I was doing, and we filed taxes for me. I have filed taxes for my online selling career and also for YouTube now. I file for both. And yeah, the taxes are crazy that you have to pay. It's just crazy. So I am bracing myself right now. I just sent my tax um, forms and all of that to my accountant. She knows they're coming. And um, yeah, I'm bracing myself for the big payment. I pay my taxes once a year. I take a small penalty for not paying quarterly, but I like to hold on to my money. And um, But I do save. I save quite a bit to pay my taxes, so I am prepared for it. Quite a few of you have asked if I buy inventory. So some of you have started in the reselling stream and you've collected stuff and you've decided that you don't want to list this stuff and you want to resell it to other resellers. At this point, I am not buying anybody else's inventory. I have done that in the past. I do buy private closets. Those are closets that people have that are filled with high-end clothing and they're no longer in a career or they've just changed their style of dress. I will go in and buy that type of clothing. But generally, resellers that contact me and say, hey, Karen, I've got all of this inventory. I've got my mother's stuff. I've got, you know, I'm not able to buy that because my buy-in price here in Pennsylvania is so low. And when I go to the thrift stores, they're so filled with the inventory. It doesn't make sense for me to make appointments with people and buy their inventory. Could I be losing out? I could. I just don't have the time in this period of reselling and creating videos, but thank you so much. My best advice is hook into a Facebook group with other resellers and see if you can sell the items you no longer want um, on a Facebook group. So that is my best tip. Quite a few of you have also asked where I get my supplies. I usually leave a link down below in my video description box with my Amazon's most favorites. So my Amazon favorites is an affiliate link. That means that if you buy through that link, which I very much appreciate, um, I get a small kickback. The item winds up costing you the same exact of money as if you had gone into um, Amazon on your own. But if you go through a link, it'll show you what I items I really like. I purchase quite a few of my packing supplies through Amazon. I will do like bubble wrap, packing peanuts. I also use American Bubble Boy for my bubble wrap and poly mailers and things like that. I usually just type in what I'm looking for right on Amazon and, um, and buy whoever's running the best sale. A few of you over the years have asked if I would do a video for packing and shipping, how I pack and ship. Way back in the day when I first started on YouTube, I did a few videos on how I pack my items, how I ship my items. I talked about shipping on eBay, but those videos did not get a lot of views. And on YouTube, it's all about 
how many people have watched your video. So I always have to pay attention to that because the amount of work that I'm putting in YouTube is crazy. It's just a crazy amount of work. For those of you who have not tried YouTube, it is just insane how much work it is to really get a good video out there. So you're always watching the analytics, a YouTuber should be, to see what videos are getting the most views. And the shipping videos, packing videos, just don't bring the views, but there are a few other people that talk about packing and shipping on YouTube. So you can just put that topic right into a search bar and search for, um, you know, something like online packing and shipping or eBay and a whole list of videos will come up of other people covering the topic. Concerning my personal life, you guys want to know how I met Roger. Roger and I made a whole video about that. So if you haven't seen that video, long story short, we met in the thrift store and we are now married. I think it's been about six months. Okay, so we got married June 30th, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. Ah, oh, March. At the end of this month, it's going to be nine months. That went by very quick and we are still having a great time. So things are going well and we are really enjoying each other's company. I have to say a lot of our evenings are spent talking work. So sometimes we have to say to each other, all right, no more work talk, just to be able to get out of that mindset. But that's how Roger and I met in the thrift store and we are now married and um, yeah, and having a great time. All right, I hope that was a help for those of you asking questions. We're gonna go shopping. Hit that like and subscribe button. Let's get on the road. It's cold out. All right, we are at Goodwill, Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. This is the Goodwill that they built a couple of years ago. The building is really nice and we are the first ones here. It's about five to nine, so we're gonna go in and see what we can find to flip for a profit. Okay, just met the nicest manager. Shout out to you, Amber. She welcomed us into the store. Great way to start the day. Look at this shirt, Trinity Collective. I don't know why that caught my attention. All right, we're gonna start at Hard Goods, but in this store, most times we can fit in. <laughs> That's kind of cool. We can fit in clothing and hard goods. So it's probably going to be a mixed day and the shelves are looking good. Where shall we start? Let's start down the candle aisle. I don't know that I usually start down the candle aisle. Okay, that's a little dirty on top, but look at the stripes on that. Very interesting. Okay, interesting for real. <laughs> it caught my attention. Oh, here's a little clay pot. Oh, made in China. I thought maybe it was like a little a little Native American or Aztec pot. Love never fails. Lots of good stuff. All right. Oh, the shelves are looking good today, guys. We're, I, I, I'm all excited. I don't know which way to go. I'm all stuttery. Okay. Let's start down this, this aisle. I haven't seen this Goodwill this filled with inventory so this is really interesting to me good job i know this store didn't get a lot of inventory for a while every time i came the shelves were a little bit bare but it seems like they are really filling the shelves so very happy to see that this morning got a little terrier is that a terrier you know me with dog breeds Oh, here's like a geode. Not especially pretty or sparkly. $2.99, hmm. I would like if it was purple and all crystally. Oh, isn't this, is this Charlie the tuna? I know it's probably not a tuna. That looks vintage. Unfortunately, his hat has a chip. Yeah, that definitely looks older. I don't see a mold company like Holland Mold. Okay, we could put magic marker on that. I almost like that. And you know me, I don't pick up chip things. Okay, I'm gonna discipline myself and put it back. Not get carried away just because the store is looking good. We want items that are really gonna flip for a good profit. What is this piece? Okay, that's a hobbyist piece. Lots of little figurines. Uh, what is this here? Oh, that's lovely. That is true vintage. Look at that bow on top. 
$3.99. Look at the back. That is the first item going in the cart. Beautiful. Oh, I've seen this type of statue before. Is this soapstone? Okay, it says something original underneath the price tag. And today is yellow, right? So yellow is 50% off. These are bears on a tree. I should look that up, but I think I'm just going to wait on it. I haven't seen these before. Don't know who's making them. What do you think? The shelves are filled over here. Yeah, it's funny seeing you over the shelves. <laughs> All the other stores have tall shelves peeking over. Okay, some glassware. Oh, it's plastic. It's a little leather billfold. Oh no, it's a manicure set missing its implements. Oh, this is a reed diffuser. Cow bookends. Those are very fun. Hi, Karen. Good morning. I watched your video yesterday. We met before. Oh, what's your booth in Hummelstown? What's your first name Mindy. again? Mindy. What? Mindy. Yeah, how are you doing? I watched I'm your good. video last night. You did. I do. I watch it. Oh, yeah, thank I you so you much. Guys. Oh, I saw thank you. Guys you. Been looking for some clothes. I'm sorry, I don't want to air your video. <laughs> No, no, no. I know you're I no, it's fine. I'm not showing you, so no worries. Unless you want to be in the video. Do you? Oh! Hi. <laughs> Do I have the best followers or what? Yes. Everybody say hi to love Mindy, right? Mindy. With an M. Hi, oh, you're a sweetheart. Hi, I love your hair. Oh, thank Look you. Look at I you. Love your hair. Yeah, we're striped girls. <laughs> yeah. You have a great day. Thank you. You too. Thanks for saying hi. Sure. Okay, a little. Looks like Jasper wear, maybe? Vase. Okay, the tag is bent over. I think it's $3.99. It's like a white relief. Am I looking right at a chip? I don't think so. This is beautiful. We're gonna put that in the cart. Oh, it's looking pretty. We love when our cart is pretty, don't we? Oh, a horn. Look at that with a metal casing, $4.99. Okay, that is gorgeous. We're going to stick that in the cart. All right, maybe this store has turned around because it was for a while there. I mean, I got a few good things, but when you get used to thrift stores that just have a lot of good stuff, and then you come to stores that, you know, you just wind up putting less things in your cart. Um, yeah, you, you kind of lose hope. Oh, this is cute. Look at this cat with a bird on his head. $3.99. That is great. Look at the attitude. I love cats that have attitudes. We're gonna go ahead and put that in the cart. All right, we caught this place on a great day. And this isn't too far from our house, so that is wonderful. There's a little bunny, little bunny egg holder. Would that be an egg holder? Okay, Easter is coming. $2.99. I'm actually going to take that. I don't know if I'll put this on eBay or in the booth, but we're going to grab that and put him right there. Okay, we have artwork. I'm going to quickly scan. One thing nice about this store is they're playing the music very low, so that is great. You don't have to shout above the music. Oh, look at this. It's a vintage... Um, double fold photo frame. I see some roses. The best, the best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. That is sweet. I think this would be great. Oh, made in Canada on a gallery wall. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm not one that normally picks up things with like cheesy or overly romantic sayings, but this is a beautiful one, $2.99. We're gonna put that right there. I have to say this shelving system for small artwork is wonderful. So many of the Goodwills don't have good organization. Oh, that's sweet. I think of you, frame. Frame to please. Um, yeah, so it's very nice. 
I'm going to go ahead and pick this one up too. I like this frame. Very nice to have organization for this stuff. I think of you. Very endearing and sweet. Looks like this little card is vintage and it's mounted on a moire satin uh, backing. Very sweet. We're loving that. What else caught my eye? I feel like I saw something else. I think it was this. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, this is metal. Look at that, a brass roses heart photo frame. Let me hold it better for us. Wow, that is really nice. <laughs> $3.99, I can't believe I'm in the door like two minutes filling the cart. All right, we have turned the corner. We are on the dishes aisle. Look at these pepper dishes. Clay art, kind of fun. Oh, this is a pretty pattern. Ooh, it feels very cheap in the hand. A little bit of chipping and a very blurry branding. <laughs> Those are kind of pretty though. Why am I looking at dishes? Why am I looking at dishes? False graph. These look like Sanyo, Sango. You know me, I can never pronounce anything. Yep, that's what they are. S-A-N-G-O. I want to say Sango. And I think it's really Sanyo, but there's that. Oh, we got a little fish vase. Oh, that is actually really sweet. This is like etched in there. I very much like this color. $2.99, made in, I'm gonna guess Malaysia. $2.99, that is really sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I really like that, I like that color. I don't know what this is made out of. It almost feels like stone. So that is really interesting. Okay, I picked up a couple of pieces while you weren't looking. First of all, shout out to Mindy, the woman that I introduced you to, one of my followers. Um, I saw this in her cart and I said, oh, your cabinet is very cool. And she goes, do you want it? <laughs> I was just admiring it and she said that she had picked it up, but she really didn't need it or want it. So she offered it to me and I gladly accepted. She said she saw it in my booth and that is exactly where it's going. So thank you, Mindy, $6.99. A beveled etched glass with a lead, um, a lead trim, a lead something. I don't know what that's called. So we're going to put that right here. I did find this little piece of pottery on an end cap. I believe this is Mexico. I love little bowls like this and little dishes, $1.99. So we are definitely keeping that one. Okay, I'm going to have to move that. That's not good. And a belt that I picked up um, just willy-nilly because it's $1.50 because today is yellow tag half price. You know me, I love a good leather belt. All right, we're going to leave that here. Maybe I will bring this back up here and just, yeah, I'm going to keep that there. This is what the cart is looking like. Did I show you everything? I think I did. Might have skipped this clock. Seth Thomas, but I don't know that I'm keeping this. The bottom has quite a bit of distressing, we'll call it, but I know Seth Thomas can be a very good name. Made in South Korea, so that makes it vintage. I will have to look this up, but I'll leave a screenshot um, of comps on the screen here if I find out it's very valuable. All right, but we're keeping that in the cart for now. Everything else is status quo. You have seen all of this. All right, cart is looking good. Let's keep going. We have some ripe and juicy watermelon plates. Who put these out? Home Trends, Farm Fresh. Always lots of dishes. This looks like Portugal, but probably made in China, I'm guessing. Okay, hand painted. This is Bella Floral. Kind of pretty, but I'm not shipping dishes, right guys? <gasps> And dishes in the booth have been very slow to move. So I'm being very careful to not pick up dishes because I don't want to fall back into having to ship them on eBay. So if I think they're going to go on the booth, I will go ahead and pick them up. But otherwise, I'm going to leave them behind. Shout out to all the resellers that do plush. I have never gotten into this niche. It feels very overwhelming. I'm sure there is a ton of profit to be made on plush but I couldn't tell you, you know, what's valuable and what's not. I think there are a lot of plush sellers or resellers, I should say, because they're so easy to ship. 
And yeah, I know quite a few resellers just bring them home, pop them in the washing machine um, and the dryer, and then they list them and ship them out. So it doesn't get much easier than that. Hey, you. Hey. Fancy meeting you here. <laughs> look at you. Look at your yeah, car. How's it car. going? Good. Yeah? yeah some pretty good things. Golf shirts, golf shorts. Okay. Are the plaid ones that you showed me for you? The uh, black and yellow? Those are too big. Yeah, size 40. Yeah. Yeah, they're a little big. Those are fun, though. You could wear them to the pool on our vacation. <laughs> Roger and I just have booked a vacation in May, right? We're going in May? Yeah, yeah so that'll be great. All right, we are down the cups aisle. Hmm. I don't see any Tervis or any, um, what other ones did we look for? <laughs> oh, Tervis. I spoke it into existence. Bass Pro. Okay. Keep calm and carry, carry guns. guns. Okay, that's probably a keeper or you're not, you're not going to keep it. How much yeah. are they getting for it? $3.99. Too much. Yeah. Okay, so we are about to head out. Did really well in this store. Very happy with my finds. Just checking the Seth Thomas little quartz clock. Like I said, there is quite a bit of, I'm not going to call it pitting, but kind of like color loss along the brass trim. And when I looked it up, I put in the model name and number. And I don't get an exact match, but I can see that quite a few of the Seth Thomas smaller clocks, some of them bigger, do not bring a huge amount of money. I would think the antique ones, the wood case ones would do well. Here's a little heart one, heart-shaped desk clock, $4.99. So I'm kind of basing my decision on that. Sometimes I can't find exactly what I'm looking for when I look it up but I'm just judging it on how it's built and what it looks like. All right, guys, I think we did really well today. The car is looking good. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours. All right, so we are home from Goodwill now. We also stopped at Mount Joy Gift and Thrift. Hello, you. <laughs> Clean, cleaning up a little bit here. <laughs> Look at the inventory pouring into this house. Let me say, being a reseller and storing your inventory in your house, it is organized, but sometimes it can back up. And this room was filled the other day. So I am paring down. I am getting listings on. This is the tub of the items that I just bought that you saw before this footage. Here are the Mennonite dresses. These are all photographed, and this will be the next thing I'm listing. I have a few more over here. I just always like to keep it real for you guys that when you bring this kind of inventory into your house, it's a thing. It's a whole thing. This is where I sit and do my makeup. Um, yeah, in amongst the photography stuff. But this room constantly has a ton come in, and then it all gets cleared out. And then we're back to this situation. So you just get used to it as a reseller. Now, many resellers I know have warehouse space. I really like doing this from the house because you can work, you know, late at night or whatever. Do you mind if I come in your office? Yeah, that's fine. So I've shown Roger's office before. We're coming in to see all your goodies, all your stuff. I got stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's all good, but I have stuff. Yeah, you've been selling really well lately. Yeah. You've had some really good sales. We are grateful. So, yeah. But I have to say, we're both really consistent. That's the key for eBay, don't you think? Yeah, you have to keep listing. I noticed even if I don't list for two days, the sales just, they want you listing every day. Yeah. I think it's almost like a punishment. <laughs> if you don't list, they don't show your stuff. It, I always say eBay is yeah. like a hungry beast. They want you, they want you to list. Pretty much every, every day, day right? or yeah. at least every other day. Yep. Because yep. I noticed if I take two, take two or three days off, it just things go down. So how do you handle it as a reseller? You didn't know I was going to interview you. I didn't know. Yeah. As a reseller, if you have another part-time job that you go out to a couple times a week in the morning, after that job you go thrifting, then you come home. Then what? Tell us what your average day is like. If you've worked in the morning for the cabinet 
company that you work for? I usually go shopping for five or six hours, come home, then I take all the tags off, clean anything that needs clean, and try and list it sometimes that same night. Yeah, so that can you give us... It doesn't always happen, though. <laughs> yeah, but you're... It's usually the next day, but sometimes okay. I'll list stuff that night. But then you have to do your shipping out for the day, too. I have too. to do my shipping. Sometimes yeah. that's... Yeah, so me. a lot of days you're working 12-hour days, Not right? for sure. Yeah, so we never want to give the appearance like, oh, it's all fun in the thrift store and filming yeah. and joking. We are both really hard workers, yeah, that's, so... That's long days. Yeah. Okay, so your bag here, are these solds or things you just listed? I just listed them. You just listed and it's pre-packed. Well, the other day I listed them. Do you want to show us anything fun that you've bought recently? I a doll that I just got that's got a lot of interest. They say it's a rare. They say it's rare. There's one like this, but she she has jeans on. Jeans and like a top. Okay. So I guess this one, somebody somebody has one for sale for 400 What? Yeah, buy it now. And this is a Brad style. Yeah, I just put mine on auction. I started it at $69.99. And I figured... Whatever, whatever it brings, but yes, yeah, somebody has to buy it now for, for three hundred ninety nine ninety nine. Okay, so how much yeah. did you pay? You got that at Goodwill a couple yeah. days ago. Okay, <laughs> how much you did really you? Yes, six, six ninety nine. Okay, six dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah. You put it on a seven day auction. Seven days. Okay. What makes you put something on auction or something on buy it now? Uh, like, do you have a set kind of business sometimes. model? When I do auction, it's when I'm not sure. Yeah. Because this, I'm not really sure what it's worth. Yeah. Just because he has one on for 400 that doesn't mean it's worth. Right. It might be worth 150 might be worth 100 might be worth 400 So you so set a price. Now, what I was... set it at sixty nine ninety nine. I figured I, I'm still going to make good money. And how much, okay, so this video is going to come out on Sunday at 12 noon, this Sunday. Today is Friday. Will this item end before or after this video I think, launches? I think this goes off to Monday or Tuesday. So okay. after. Does it have so any after, bids yet? It has two bids. Oh, it does. So the, $71. Uh, so people are already yeah. recognizing that it has good value. Yeah. But there's 23 watchers, so that's a good That's a good sign good to see sign. how many people are yeah. watching it. Yeah. Okay, so brat styles. Have you sold brat styles before? Yeah, I've sold you a have. few. I think you've sold every yeah. toy. You they really have like a list some. of, there's three that are very rare. Really? If you Google it, it'll tell you, it'll tell you the three that are, that are really rare. But they, I think this one is a rare one. Wow. It's got a little, the package and a little damage, but everything inside is, is mint. Does the package have the date on it? Like, is she more vintage? Not that bright. 2006. Brought some... Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow, and she has her magic vanity. I want a magic vanity. That's the key. That's the, the key. Magic vanity. Uh, oh my gosh. Magical vanity. All right. So once again, everything on your entertainment center right here, most of this is listed. I think everything is. Everything is listed. Except my hockey stick. Yeah, what's going on with the hockey stick? What's I think that I'm about? Giving that to my son-in-law. <laughs> okay, because he plays he's yeah. a hockey player. I see you have quite the collection of candles going on. Yeah, I got a few. Yeah. They've been selling in the booth yeah, they though. Have. They've been doing well lot, for these you. These are a lot of the same. They're all warm melted maple. It smells oh. so good, guys. Oh, so brand, good. Brand new. It smells like pancakes. Pancakes yeah. and maple syrup. One of yeah. our favorite things. <laughs> a lot of times on a Sunday or a Saturday morning, Roger and I for home will make pancakes and just take a pancake break. So delicious. All right, so items that are listed. This is clothing, right? Yeah, these are these okay. are actually auction. Okay. Yeah. And then all of yeah. this stuff, basically hard goods that you have listed. And listed. you have a lot of hard goods downstairs. Yeah, these I didn't get on yet. These are pretty nice. Those are gorgeous. Two. Like fedoras. Two of them, but they're uh, beaver hats made in USA. So, so they're, they're beaver fur. Yeah, they're, they're nice. I all right, we all know what we're waiting for. <laughs> yeah, I don't think, I think they're just, I don't know what they're made out of. I think it's beaver felt. I've sold hats, vintage yeah. ones. I don't you know if those are vintage. Being the name. Yeah, that's the company name. Beaver, beaver hats since 1860. 
and it says USA Craftsmanship since 1860. Okay. So I think they're You they're could probably, decent. yeah. Yeah. You can try that brown one on or the gray one. Which one would you wear? Uh, you don't have to try them on if you don't want to. The gray one goes with my hair. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. You need like a Let's pinstripe see. suit like back in the <laughs> Western days. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we saw these two things last time, the Lego Friends and the Juicer, which juicing that, is a I big still thing. I didn't get on yet. I got to get that on. Sometimes the electronics take longer, yeah, don't they? You I have just, to test yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you got a lot of interesting things. What are these little beehive things? They're, uh, what are those? From Ikea. They're for your curtains, curtain rod. Ends. Oh, like the they finial on, caps. Yeah, the finials. They go okay. The end, so, what'd so. you pay for these? I got four packs for two ninety nine total. So, like wow. fifty cents, okay. sixty cents a piece or something. That's really cool. I'm looking at all your stuff. You got stuff down there too. Is that all listed down there? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. You're gonna need a, a storage unit. You're gonna Off need a home. warehouse. <laughs> just, I just picked all those up today. These gloves. Oh, it's spotting. This is, a good, this is a good brand. I think I just a, listed one of these. Mizuno, Mizuno, right? Mizuno. Catcher's catcher's mitt. So it's a it's a it's a youth, but it's a it's a it's a good brand. Yeah. You got two and what'd you pay for those? Three ninety nine each. Okay. I got this one too. And yeah, this one's... How do you tell the difference between a softball and a baseball mitt? Do they say what they're for? Or you just guess? I guess when I list a mitt. Usually when I put this, I usually put the model number in. Okay, it comes out. go by what other people say. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they're right. So you have no knowledge of your own. <laughs> I'm not sure how to tell. Yeah. I mean, I think softball is usually probably a little bigger. Yeah, that's the glove, right. The glove is bigger. For the bigger ball. Yeah. the ball is bigger. Okay. But I'm not, Does that one fit you? No, I'm. Um, Have you ever played? This one's the wrong hand because I cannot oh, throw left hand. <laughs> okay. But Have this, you played ball I think when these you were are younger? Probably better when they go in your right hand too, because there's not near as many, but there's obviously not as many people that are left-handed either. So you think it's better hand. to find a, a right-hand throw or a left-hand throw? Probably. I think these are. You're not going to have as many on, so you probably get more money. Okay. These. So, in other words, you want a left-hand throw is probably a little bit better. Yeah, I would think yeah so, because yeah. they're they're rarer to find, yeah. harder to find. Yeah. All right, we got piles of clothing, another Scrabble game, bags of toys. All right, so you use black curtains for photography to black out the light in this yeah, room, right? To black out the light. Okay, Roger always believes photographing listings in a totally dark room and using a flash on his camera. Too. Oh, those are nice. Yeah, I think we might have. I don't know if we I think, showed these before. Yeah, I think we we, we found those picking them up. Yeah. Now these are on. Yeah, these, these are listed. Are on. Okay. Yeah. You really have been on it. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for the tour. What are all the bins of stuff? My word, that's a lot of clothing. <laughs> this is stuff I'm getting ready. I took pictures of all this. Okay, so I'm all of that has to, to list it. Getting ready to yeah. list it. Wow. That's and the, and the scary from. clown mask. Yeah, I still have that. You have to put that in the trunk of your car. I don't like clown masks in the house. Oh, I got my my dots underwear. <laughs> I don't know if we should show that. <laughs> when you say your dots or, underwear <laughs> for sale. Underwear, boxers, and socks that match. That match. Oh, that would be a look. Dots. That's kind of cool. Did you Still look those sealed. up? Don't open them. Don't no. show us Dot's underwear. <laughs> we want to keep this rated G. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Looks great, babe. How many mm. listings do you have on now? Um, I think about 800. 800 buy it nows. Our total auction and buy it now. Buy it now. Because okay. I just sold quite a few. I, d I was close to 1,000. Yeah, you shipped out this morning. How yeah, many did you ship out? out? About 80. 80 just yeah. this morning. Crazy, yeah. crazy, crazy. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is our crazy life. And we do keep rooms just for personal use and hanging out with no inventory. It's kind of the rule of the house. But the other rooms are just so much fun. Hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, go out and get what's yours.